Okay, here's a little quick um, demonstration of me using stacking players in Reason 10.4 using my favorite electric piano, which obviously you can hear the other sounds of this, but Waves has two amazing electric pianos. Um, my quest for finding the perfect electric piano began with the Chet Faker live session videos on YouTube, which are awesome. You listen to um, No Diggity, Archangel, there's one other one. But for me personally, the tone of that electric piano in there, plus the production they've put on it, just it gives me goosebumps every time I hear it. So, and that put me in search of finding finding a great sounding electric piano. I checked out several of them, and uh, there's a, there's some pretty good sounding ones out there, but the Waves ones just were it for me. The quality of the fact of the effects and they're just the right effects for this. Um, all the features are the keys. Check them out. Uh, I'm not sponsored by this. Not trying to be. I was just impressed with the uh, Waves Electric 200 and the Electric 88 or whatever. Um, I got them on sale for I think half off. Worth every penny in my opinion. And I don't like spending a lot of money on plugins. These two just felt right to me. So anyway, um, so here's just the electric piano, which you obviously already heard. So here's me turning on chords. Uh, I think I'm in, what am I, D minor. Three note chords, first inversion, octave up and down, whatever. So that's... So then, using this strumming machine is awesome. I, I I did not purchase this strumming machine with the intention of creating guitar-like strumming. I I bought it because a long time ago when I used to try to mess around with auto theory, um, there was a strum effect in auto theory, and I kind of was fiddling around with it by accident, and I liked the effect that I could create by using it um, with a piano sound to kind of I don't want to say arpeggiate out the sounds, but instead of just playing the chords, just you're playing the notes of the chord in a run individually, not so much in a at the rate of musical subdivisions, but just what feels right. Um, there's an example of what I'm talking about. You know, if normally you'd play this chord. Oop, hold on, let me turn off the scales and chords. Instead of playing all the notes at the exact same instant, like a sequencer would do, you play them out with feel, like... Uh, I, I don't know what the correct musical terminology for that is, but I think it's more expressive and more interesting to my ear in the world of electronic music. You get everything so so quantized and synchronized and locked into a grid it just loses its expressiveness sometimes um so here's chords back on sounds fine of course but then if i turn on strum So one thing that would be cool would be to map um, either the mod wheel to the speed so you can change it on the fly. So like if you're playing, you can, you can vary the uh, speed of the, of the um, strum artistically in the moment. So if your song slows down, you can slow down the speed. It would be cool to map that to velocity too. So you could, uh, if you play faster, 
and then you slow down. That'd be awesome. So the way that I'm playing the strumming machine like this, um, just playing it note for note, this is I have play retrigger turned on, which I'm so happy they added that because in the first version of SD100, that was not there, and it highly limited what I could do with it, and it was great, but also frustrating because what I heard in my head wasn't necessarily what I could do. Prior to putting this play retrigger in here, this pattern was always locked to this, the, the timing of the sequencer. So, you know, at the beginning of a of a, a, a bar, it would start at the first one no matter what. Now with this play retrigger, it's just whenever you play it, it retriggers the whole pattern. That's awesome. I don't even use it the other way. Um, and so, so what I do is, is I uh, turn on play retrigger. I set it up to uh, the step count all the way up to 64, just so it doesn't loop back around on me and play. Play the pattern over. So like if I set the pattern down to like, I don't know, something small. See what it does is it. It, it loops around and hits this drum again, which is not what I want. Um, so I just leave it on 64. Um, and anyway, so the purpose of this isn't really to explain the ST100 strumming machine by Zvork um, in its in detail. It's just, just to show that it's cool to be able to create these expressive styles using it. So anyway, that was it. Um, simple. You don't have to have the scales and chords. Obviously, you can play it, you know, by hand too. You get fewer notes this way, obviously, unless you can hold down the extra octave up and down that the the, the uh, scales and chords does. Just slow it down a little bit. So what I'm playing comes. Anyway, I think that's it for this video. Um, yeah, that's it. Have a, uh, enjoy it. Have fun with it. It's awesome.